Ciao YouTube, Vero De Facto here. I have a story for you and a question. The father, let's call him Joe, and the kid, let's call him Joe Jr. because they don't want to be identified. The father, Italian like me, and married to an African American like me, and of course the kid Joe is biracial. One day after school, a kid in Joe Jr. class invited him to go home with him. The father opened the door. The father of this boy looked at uh, Joe Jr. and started yelling, I don't want no fucking niggers around my house. Get the fuck out of here and started yelling at the kid. Um, Joe Jr. was so freaking upset because it was his first uh, real encounter with the uh, racism start running home and crying uh, he didn't pay any attention while he was running and crossed the street and got hit by a car he was okay there was no damage but still he got hit by the car some bruises when he got home Joe was so upset that uh, he called first he called the police but the police can do anything about it. I mean, what the fuck this police is gonna do, you know? Go to the... The police wasn't gonna go to the house of the guy and tell him not to say racist shit. Uh, and Joe Jr. was running all by his own. Nobody told him to run in the middle of the street, so... There was nothing he could do about being hit by the car, neither. The father, Joe was even more upset now and decided to walk to the house of this guy rang the doorbell and when the guy opened uh, Joe punched the shit out of him the police was called and Joe was arrested for assault and he was sentenced to three months although he only ended up serving 20 days in jail now I don't want you to judge what Joe did like I don't want to know if it was right or wrong to do that uh, my question is what is your breaking point do you have a breaking point obviously I found out what uh, what Joe breaking point was uh, and it was somebody yelling at his kid in that way that was his breaking point what is your breaking point